Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to install and configure build services in Team Foundation Server 2013. Before we go ahead and install and configure build services, uh, there are a few things that needs to be considered and I have written down right here for you. Number one is whether you are configuring and installing build services brand new on a build server uh, or uh, you're upgrading uh, from previous uh, version to um, Team Foundation Server 2013. And other thing that needs to be considered is the build um, 2010 and 2013. If you're installing brand new uh, build services, you don't have to worry about it. You just uh, it's a fairly simple install. But if you're upgrading, you need to consider one thing that when you install um, and configure build services in Team Foundation Server 2013, it'll prompt you to save the previous build that's attached to your collection, uh, save all the settings, and 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 then you can go ahead and um, install it. And the other thing that um, this is a this is the prerequisite and it's important thing. You can use um, build 2010. You can connect to it, but if you're installing 2013, you cannot run both build uh, 2010 and 2013 on same computer so these are the important things that I wanted to talk about before we uh, go ahead and install and configure build services in this video we're going to do the first uh, which is brand new uh, we're gonna go ahead and install and configure build services in team foundation server 2013 but if you're upgrading I would suggest that uh, please uh, go ahead and read the upgrade documentation before you start doing it and also there are some uh, troubleshooting uh, mechanism that's attached with the upgrade and make sure that you document everything and look at those documents and upgrade your uh, uh, 2010 or 2012 to 2013 build services so let's go ahead I have uh, this is my TFS server I'm going to install um, build services on the same computer where my TFS is running so we're gonna go and there are a couple ways that you could do it if you're installing on the same server you can fire up team foundation server uh, administration console here's a team foundation server administration console you can use this uh, to install or you can use directly the team foundation server media uh, installer media and do that we're gonna go ahead and install uh, from the media so I'm gonna go ahead and click my computer here's my uh, Visual Studio 2013 update for Team Foundation Media. So we're going to go ahead and open it. Here's my TFS. So we're going to go ahead and run as administrator. <coughs> click yes. Accept the license and click install now. Up here, if you see, uh, it will show you what has installed already on this particular computer but we're gonna go ahead and click on configure team foundation build server service click start wizard I do not want to participate so we're gonna go ahead and do that click next this is this up here the team pro project collection um, keep in mind that you can have one build controller uh, per collection so it's gonna ask you to give the collection where you wanted this build server connected to so we're gonna go ahead and click next and it's querying the collection and if it won't be able to then you need to if if your team foundation server is somewhere else on another server then it'll um, um, you know you have to put all that information and to connect to that uh, particular team foundation server so here is the default collection but I got couple collection here if you browse and connect to team foundation server it'll show you all the collection now I have one that's default collection and other is finance project collection so I can have this build services attached to either of that but I'm going to go ahead and use the default collection so I'm gonna cancel that and here's the URL for for the default collection so we're gonna go ahead and it'll tell you that uh, there is no build controller found no agent found for this particular collection if you have a 2010 and you're upgrading it'll show you that you already have uh, build services attached um, in case that you have the build already installed on that particular machine particular TFS uh, collection so we're gonna go ahead and click next up here you can use 
the default setting which I am going to do that the difference between um, uh, default setting and configure later is that this is the agent number of agent that you wanted to run on particular machine if you uh, if you have more if you wanted to configure more agents make sure that your hardware really support that more agents uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click on just one for this demo purposes that's fine with us and up here if you click on configure later it'll go ahead and install all the files but um, uh, the uh, the activation uh, of the build machine will not be there you need to configure before you can use that particular build so we're gonna go ahead and use the default setting click next and here's the account you can use NT authority network service or you can go ahead and give uh, a service account or the account that has admin on TFS and has ability to install the build services I'm going to go ahead and do that I have a account and put the password and make sure you put you click on test this will test everything for us that this will test basically whether you put the password right or not or whether this account really exists or not so we're gonna go ahead and uh, click next this is the summary that is gonna do is gonna go ahead and install click next All right, our verification and readiness check is passed, so we're gonna go ahead and click on configure. Configure is going to take some time, so I will uh, go ahead and pause the video. Or once the configuration is completed, I'll be back. And if I run into any issue, then I'll share with you. I'm gonna go ahead and click configure. All right, configuration uh, is completed and is successful. We're, we're gonna go ahead and click next. Now you can review uh, everything. Uh, the exception up here, the 9191 is the port number and uh, uh, it, it will automatically add that 9191 con uh, communication with the uh, team foundation server and the build server. So um, also, if you wanted to create uh, a build agent right now you can go ahead and click up here create and work with build agents you can have uh, your project connected to that particular agent and you can automate your uh, project using build services but basically this is it this is how you install build services in uh, team foundation server 2013 and I hope this video helps